I'll be honest, the sheer ambition of proposed gameplay for the upcoming Sims 4 High School Year's expansion pack stirred a few reactions for me. One was excitement, and the other was a bit of concern. I think that the new high school expansion pack trailer and gameplay details show a lot of promise, but today I'm going to share what's really worrying me about this expansion pack and why it reminds me of a past Sims 4 game pack, as well as my honest opinion on what needs to be done differently so that this pack could be ranked as one of the best expansion packs for Sims 4. Before we get into this news analysis, I'm Simmer Erin. I cover Sims 4 updates, pack reviews, guides, speculation, and more. And my question for you today is, what are your hopes for this specific gameplay feature in the Sims 4 High School expansion pack? And what were your initial impressions when you first heard about it? So I do want to be clear, I do think that this new high school expansion pack sounds very promising, but with that, I want to be also honest with you. And one thing did set off a red flag for me, which ironically is a feature I would have wanted for any Sims game. Because I've always liked that there was a prom feature for Sims 3, but to be honest, being able to actually play it out and having some kind of formal dance, well, that's really right up my alley. So while I have other questions about this high school expansion pack, which I can go into more detail in a future video, such as if townies like Eliza Pancakes will wander into the high school, if you can opt out of different active school days, what will be a rabbit hole, and of course things like relationship consequences, today I just want to focus on the prom feature, why it could be great, and why I think it could also be a complete disaster. So first, let's look at how the prom gameplay in this pack is being described, at least of the details we know so far. Perhaps the most nerve-wracking yet exciting night of a teen Sims high school years is prom. You'll be able to customize every aspect of your Sims prom, beginning with prom preparation and of course the event itself. Sims can go solo, ask someone to prom, go with friends, or skip out altogether. From there, players can dive into the details, including creating and presenting a prom proposal sign, selecting outfits, having friends over to get ready, and voting for prom royalty. Players can also plan out their dance routines, music, snacks, and more. How a sim prepares for and participates in prom will impact their relationships going forward. So it sounds really good on paper, but there is a reason I bold printed a number of these things. Being able to have that level of customization, being able to kind of play it out or say, hey, screw it, we're not going to prom, Again, all these things I really appreciate, but the question is, why am I concerned? Well, a lot of these fragments really reminded me of another pack, and I think you know what I'm getting at. So if you look at that, and then we go ahead and look at the main gameplay details that were announced for the Sims 4 My Wedding Stories game pack, I'm seeing some similarities. Popping the question is just the beginning of your Sims wedding experience. Once they've said yes, the excitement and nerves set in. There's so much to plan. Get in the details of upcoming nuptials as Sims select their wedding day attire and everything else they'll need for the big moment, such as menu, decor, schedule, all of it. Tour venues created by community creators as Sims try cakes, consider flowers, and settle on traditions that make their day more meaningful. Newlyweds and guests alike can dance with their loved ones while the new spouses cut the cake, give toasts, and receive well wishes. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but I'm seeing a lot of similarities between these two features. So a lot of it is with the planning, so you can plan the attire, you can plan basically different roles. Now, it didn't say different roles in the prom one, but we are going to be voting on the prom royalty, which could be a separate event. But we're also dancing, and dancing worries me because it mentions dancing routines, like you set them up ahead of time. Also, all the decor. So as you can see here, it's definitely not the same, but there's a lot in common. A lot of customization, a lot of planning throughout, and in my wedding stories, it said that it was going to make it more meaningful. And in prom, it says it's going to have an impact. So I'm definitely seeing some parallel connections. Now, I want to kind of dive into two short reviews of my wedding stories. And please stay with me because I do think this is important. There will be a point to this. So we all know that my wedding stories didn't work very well, but it goes deeper than that. And so my concerns aren't just about the bugs, but actually how this is going to be designed for prom for the high school expansion pack. So looking at this review by PC Gamer, I'll admit I was skeptical when EA announced the Sims 4 Wedding Stories game pack. After all, weddings have always been notoriously chaotic. Fairly expansive menu filled with commands such as time to sit, throw rice, and time to eat cake. 
unfortunately, hardly any of them seemed to work. Instead of wedding guests, I felt like I was trying to manage a gang of tiny, misbehaving children. And then this other review by Digital Spy really kind of gets into what I want to discuss. My wedding story sounded like a winning concept, taking a pivotal period of a couple's life that had been left a little underdeveloped in the base game, fleshing it out to make storytelling behind romantic relationships more meaningful and intimate. But the end result is memorable for all the wrong reasons. The ironic thing about all this is the pack wants you to craft unique wedding experiences for your sims by making you, and here's the kicker, micromanage so many different individual aspects. Some simmers will like the idea of that, others who prefer more organic storytelling, perhaps less so. But no matter how much micromanaging you do, it's impossible for any event, and especially any wedding ceremony, to go as planned due to the sim's unresponsiveness and immersion-breaking behavior. Now, some caveats here. First of all, we do know that My Wedding Stories isn't quite as broken as when it first came out, and a lot of people are able to host a successful wedding. But the fact is, it is still somewhat broken, and secondly, this is a matter of preference, but I do agree. It's not that we're actually getting immersive gameplay with My Wedding Stories, even if it worked completely well and there were zero bugs, because what we got instead was a list of micromanaging tasks. It doesn't have any impact on Sims relationships, now granted Prom says it will, and it's all about purposely going from Sim to Sim and saying, okay, you go here and you go here, despite assigning roles ahead of time. So my fear with the prom in the high school expansion pack is that maybe it could work better than my wedding stories. I certainly hope so. But I don't want it to be a situation where I have to dictate what every sim does at every waking second. And so that is a big concern, besides the fact that there are, of course, other concerns such as Eliza Pancakes, again, coming in and ruining the prom. However, there are things they could do to make this better. So in my opinion, here's the list of things the Sims team needs to do to make prom a more successful event for the high school expansion pack. So number one, less micromanaging and more autonomy. Now I do realize this is partially personal opinion. There might be some Simmers that do like micromanaging, but in my opinion, if you go ahead and you kind of set things ahead of time, the decor, the music, etc., then it should just automatically run that way. And I really think this ties in, of course, to number four, where customization should be followed without your own intervention. Number two, less complicated menus. I'm not saying it was completely complicated, my wedding stories, but I think some things could have been streamlined. Again, not having to dictate everything your sims do, more autonomy. So other sims AI needs to be fine-tuned. Now again, my concern here is this is not an expansion pack problem. It's not even the game pack problem. A lot of it has to do with the deeper AI issues that I've talked about in The Sims 4. Now, number five, I think all Sims should be at least somewhat engaged in prom activities. And what I mean by that is I really don't want to see Sims doing completely unrelated things at the prom. I also don't want townies wandering in and events need to be responded to, such as if they do have an announcement of the prom royalty, then I really want other sims to actually pay attention. The dance routine really scares me the most, to be honest, so I don't know what that means. And I'm also curious how it'll work with dates or without dates. Now again, I don't think this is potentially as complicated as a wedding, because you would have maybe one sim or maybe two sims if you have a date. But I still think there's a lot of room for error, and like I said, I think it's a cool feature. When My Wedding Stories was first announced, I was actually really excited because I thought, wow, customization, making it more meaningful. So I'm not saying that's a bad idea, and I'm not upset that it's going to be in the high school expansion pack, but does it remind me a heck of a lot of the description from My Wedding Stories? It absolutely does. So my opinion is, if it is done well, it could be a great feature, but if not, it could be another disaster. So let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Maybe I'm being too critical here. Again, I want to make it clear that I am really excited for this expansion pack, but I just want to get some of my concerns out of the way. If there's a specific video you'd like to see, please let me know. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye.